pharmacodynamics of the cardiovascular system, the endocrine regulation. Endocrine control over the cardiovascular system involves catecholamines, epinephrine, and norepinephrine, as well as several hormones that interact with the kidneys in the regulation of blood volume. Epinephrine and norepinephrine. The catecholamines, epinephrine and norepinephrine, are released by the adrenal medulla and are part of the body's sympathetic or fight or flight response. They increase heart rate and force of contraction while temporarily constricting blood vessels to organs not essential for fight or flight responses and redirecting blood flow to the liver, muscles, and heart. Antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone, or ADH, also known as vasopressin, is secreted by the hypothalamus. The primary trigger pr prompting the hypothalamus to release ADH is increasing osmolarity of tissue fluid, usually in response to significant loss of blood volume. ADH signals its target cells in the kidneys to reabsorb more water, thus preventing the loss of additional fluid in the urine. This will increase overall fluid levels and help restore blood volume and pressure. The Renin-Angiotensin-Aldosterone System the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or RAAS, has a major effect on the cardiovascular system. Specialized cells in the kidneys respond to decreased blood flow by secreting renin into the blood. Renin converts the plasma protein angiotensinogen to its active form, angiotensin-1. Angiotensin 1 circulates in the blood and is then converted into angiotensin 2 in the lungs. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE. Medications called ACE inhibitors such as lis lisinopril target this step in the range in the RAAS in an effort to decrease blood pressure. Angiotensin II is a powerful vasoconstrictor that greatly increases blood pressure. It also stimulates the release of ADH and aldosterone, a hormone produced by the adrenal cortex. Aldosterone then increases the reabsorption of sodium into the blood by the kidneys. Because water follows, follows sodium, there is an increase in the reabsorption of water, which increases blood volume and blood pressure. The hormones involved in renal control of blood pressure. The auto-regulation of perfusion. Local self-regulatory mechanisms allow each region of tissue to adjust its blood flow and thus its perfusion. These mechanisms are affected by sympathetic and parasympathetic stimulation as well as endocrine factors. Sympathetic stimulation, the arterioles within the skin, abdominal viscera, and mucosa membrane, skeletal muscles at high levels, varied in veins and venules, arterioles within the heart, and skeletal muscles at low to moderate levels. For parasympathetic no known innervation for the most for epinephrine is similar to sympathetic stimulation for extending fight or flight responses at high levels 
binds to specialized alpha receptors. This is also similar to sympathetic stimulation for extended fight or flight responses at low to moderate levels and it binds to specialized beta receptors. Norepinephrine is similar to epinephrine. Angiotensin II is a powerful generalized vasoconstrictor. It also stimulates release of aldosterone and ADH. ANH, ANH peptide is a powerful generalized vasodilator. Also promotes loss of fluid volume from the kidneys, hence reducing blood volume, blood pressure, and blood flow. ADH is a moderately strong generalized vasoconstrictor, also causes the body to retain more fluid via the kidneys, increasing blood volume and blood pressure. A decreasing pH causes a vasodilation, it also opens precapillary sphincters. The increasing levels of carbon dioxide also causes the vasodilation by opening precapillary sphincters. Increasing levels of potassium ion also causes the vasodilation, also opens precapillary sphincters. Increasing levels of prostaglandins also cause a vasoconstriction, which closes precapillary sphincters. Increasing levels of adenosine causes a vasodilation. Increasing levels of lactic acid and other metabolites can also cause vasodilation. Increasing levels of endothelins can cause vasoconstriction. Increasing levels of platelet secretions can lead to vasoconstriction. Increasing hypothermia. The stretching of the vascular wall. The kidney function review. The kidney helps to regulate blood pressure along with the heart and blood vessels, primarily through the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or RAS. In addition to cardiovascular medications affecting the RAS system, there are also medications called diuretics that reduce blood volume by working at the nephron le level. This section reviews the basic concepts of kidney function at the nephron level to promote an understanding of the mechanism of action of various cardiovascular medications. The kidney receives blood from the circulatory system via the renal artery. The renal artery branches into smaller and smaller arterioles until the smallest arterial the afferent arterial services the nephrons. There are about 1.3 million nephrons in each kidney. Nephrons filter the blood and modify it into urine by accomplishing three principal functions. Filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. They also have additional secondary functions in regulating blood pressure via the production of renin and producing red blood cells via the hormone erythropoietin. The initial filtering of the blood takes place in the glomerulus, a cluster of capillaries surrounded by the glomerular capsule. The rate at which this filtering occurs is called the glomerular filtration rate or GFR and is used to gauge how well the kidneys are functioning. The rate at which blood flows through the glomerulus is controlled 
by afferent arterioles and the blood vessels flowing out of the glomerulus. These blood vessels are called efferent arterioles. 